Well, good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. As you can see, there's been a, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions. Conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here. Points of access hard to come by and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates. But regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. And expectations are rising and decibel levels are rising. The noise is quite something. You can feel what football means to the people in this part of the world. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, the atmosphere, Peter, certainly doesn't feel like a friendly. We all know about the quality we have on show here, so I hope that the crowd demands as much as they can get, and I hope the players will oblige on that. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? This lad, Odegaard, is a player with quite a story. He was plucked at a young age from his native Norway, of course. He's done his tours of duty with a view to aid his development, and, and now he's, he's gone full circle, posting some impressive figures along the way. He's a wonder kid who's really come good. I'm inclined to agree. Good spot, he's seen the run. Here's the cross. Oh, well played. Mustachio. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Invincibles going wide appreciably more than they had been. Yeah, they're just making more of the increased time on the ball there and asking some interesting questions too, whether it's bringing someone into play or drifting inside. Good movement. Oh, well played, well played. Galeno, Galeno. It's a good run down the left-hand side. That has been cut short. Havertz. Well, neither team has yet managed to impose any authority, and uh, as a consequence, this game's just drifted. Nico Gonzalez. And they can counter here. And Taremi. That's a nicely measured pass. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. He could be in here. And now the breakaway. 
He is through here. That's not going far. Martinelli. Could move up a gear here. White. Zinchenko. And it's played forward. Now it's Havertz. Odegaard. For Rice. And the half time whistle goes. Well, there it is, half time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goalless. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. Shapes the volley in! Oh, that is rather wayward. Saliba, Zinchenko, for Martinelli. Taremi looking for the runner. And there's Greenbrier. Ivan Nilsson! They've scored! And finally, he has breathed life into the game. Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. So here comes the substitution. Porto take the lead. Oh, half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Now it's Odegaard. No, he's not getting any further than that. Fiddles it through. And it's played right into his path. Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. Jorginho. Looking for options for movement. Martinelli. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. Well, the question now is whether they can sustain it. Saliba. And the two sides separated by the game's only breakthrough moment to this point. 1 0 the score. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? He's got away. Arsenal need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. It's a pretty loose pass. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. And there goes the final whistle. 